Now I mentioned I got a girlfriend. She's beautiful. She's gorgeous. She's uh, talented. She's, uh, she's from Japan, as I mentioned. Uh, we get into some cultural kind of uh, arguments about weird kind of stuff. We have some really funny arguments. And I have a hard time taking them seriously because her accent to me is too adorable. <laughs> Think about the Japanese accent is where there needs to be an R, there's an L. And where there needs to be an L, there's an R. Right? I brought the wrong vegetables home from the grocery store. She just flipped out. She's like, you never listen, Bylon. Bylon, you never listen. Are you so oblivious? I am so disappointed. You never listen. I told you I don't want lettuce. I don't want kale. I told you I want arugula. <laughs> You want what? You know I love baby Arugula. <laughs> sounds like an adorable pet we should have. <laughs> now, Asian people here will, will agree to me on this. Asian people are quite honest. Even when they're complimenting you, it's a very Asian culture. They're honest to a fault. My girlfriend's honest to a fault, too. Even when she's being nice, she hurts my feelings sometimes. <laughs> She'll just be like, I love your blonde hair so much on your back. What the fuck? <laughs> He's like, you have nice thick shoulders. Thank you. You look like balding albino gorilla. <laughs> Self-esteem goes from high to confused. <laughs> Man, she's got Asian efficiency down uh, at its best. She want to have makeup sex when we're still fighting. <laughs> so weird. That's Asian efficiency. She knows we're gonna make up. She's like, you did not do dishes. You forgot her laundry. You did not care about Valentine. Valentine's Day, show me your dick. What the fuck? <laughs> oh. Try to get a frightened erection, it's bizarre. <laughs> she likes to embarrass me. She likes to embarrass me sexually sometimes. She just likes to catch me off guard. One time we were at the aquarium in front of a, a giant fish tank and she just grabbed me and she goes, bite on I want to have sex in front of giant tuna. What the fuck? <laughs> He's like, I love the judgmental eyes. <laughs> <laughs> that was the only time my mind told my brain, you know what, don't listen to me. By comparison, you're pretty fucking normal. <laughs> <laughs> One time, just to, to embarrass me, <laughs> she put on Japanese porn within 20 seconds. I was like, wait a sec, honey, there's only dudes. She's like, fun for me, awkward for you. <laughs> It was awkward, not because men were having sex. I watch UFC once a month. <laughs> oh, that crossed the line, okay. No, this is, it was, man, it was just fucking so weird, man. But it was like one of those, like, it was like a car crash. You can't look away from it. There's two guys wearing kabuki masks, wearing sumo diapers. One of them's on his, one of them's bent over, taking it like a, <laughs> like a hairy carry through the asshole or something. And he kept saying this one word. He kept saying, Hi, Segoi! Hi, Segoi! Hi, Segoi! I'm like, what does that mean? And, and apparently in English it means surprise. <laughs> what a surprise. It's the most traumatic puppet show I've ever seen. And I tried to turn away, but then I couldn't read the subtitles. Sometimes she'll get really playful. She'll get really playful. When she gets playful, she'll get adorably abusive. She's half my size. Sometimes she'll get feisty. She'll get hammered on half a glass of wine. And she'll hit my chest. And when she hits my chest, she goes, I love to strap your big white tits. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> this is racial fat shaming. She's like, shut up and go down on me like you're eating arugula. <laughs> mm. it makes me as hard as a celery stick. Or she calls it celery stick. 